Hello, I'm Gemma Allen. Um, I'm a history lecturer and I'm part of the School of History, Religious Studies, Sociology, Social Policy and Criminology at the Open University. Now, I love history, if I'm honest, because it allows me to be nosy. It gives me the chance to discover how people from the past really lived, uh, to go on a detective hunt, to search for clues, for evidence that we have left from the past. And this is very true of my own research on 16th century women. Now, we've long thought that Tudor women um, were chaste, uh, they were obedient, and they were silent. And we thought this for so long because that's what Tudor women were taught in sermons um, and in conduct books, which were sort of a bit like the self-help books of their day, books that told people how to behave. And my research is interested in knowing whether that was really the case. And I've used Tudor women's letters to help me. Now, until very recently, until the last few years, we didn't realise how many Tudor women's letters had survived. And that's because when the contents of the big archives were catalogued, that's when their manuscripts were listed, they were often done by Victorian men. And Victorian men weren't the slightest bit interested in Tudor women. So when they came across a Tudor woman's letter, they might just leave it out of the catalogue or they might dismissively label it as to do with family matters. But because we're now starting to discover just how many Tudor women's letters have survived, thousands of letters from women from all walks of life, we've been able to hear Tudor women in their own words for the first time. And we've been able to discover how interested they were in issues such as finance and politics. And we've been able to discover that Tudor women um, were not always chaste, they were not always obedient, um, and they were very rarely silent. And I'm really excited that I've been able to share these findings together uh, with important work from other members of uh, the history department um, in a second level history module that I chair, A223, Early Modern Europe, Society and Culture, 1500 to 1780. Now, this is a module that allows students uh, to play the detective themselves, to go searching for clues themselves, to discover how people from this fascinating period of history really lived. And I hope that our students enjoy the historical detective hunt just as much as I do.